Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the first tier 3 boss available for the Court of Oryx, Kagor. Now, to even activate a tier 3 event, you need an antiquated rune. Antiquated runes can be earned randomly from doing tier 2 Court of Oryx, and the rune must be charged first by doing tier 2 events, three of them. Tier 3 events have enemies that are 300 light, so you'll want to aim for the highest light you can possibly get this early in the expansion. I'm not sure for how many people these tier 3 bosses are actually tuned for though, meaning I don't know how many people should be participating in the fight to make it a balanced fight. 3 people per fight at lower levels is definitely not enough, but even at higher levels this might prove to be difficult. We had 2 groups of 3, and if you're wondering how we got matched together, well it involved asking random people nicely to let us join their group so that we can be in the same instance, followed by them leaving the group. Trying to match into the same patrol is much more difficult than trying to match in the Crucible, but that's another story for another video. The fight starts with Kagor and a servile ogre spawning on the top platform, followed by several Maleficent eyes. The eyes hurt pretty bad, but they also give you a buff called Ogre's Fury, which stacks and lasts for 10 to 15 seconds. Getting this buff increases your damage against ogres significantly, so killing the eyes is very important even beyond their damage threat. Throughout the fight, you'll also have regular ogres spawning in the arena, 2 to 3 every 30 to 45 seconds. These should be focused, fired, and killed immediately as they are incredibly lethal with their damage. You'll also have a few devoured shadows spawning during the fight, which should be taken out. Kegor is immune to all damage while the servile ogre is still alive, so your team needs to keep killing Maleficent eyes and keep damage on the boss as much as possible. A strategy we initially started with was to have the two people with the highest light killing the eyes and the boss while everyone else focused on killing the ogres. However, what we ended up discovering was that the damage from Ogre's Fury had the ability to kill the regular ogres incredibly quickly, to the point where even if you only had one person with one stack shooting an ogre, it would die very quickly. Granted, this became much more important earlier in the expansion. We were all lower light levels compared to the enemies, but I imagine at a proper gear level, this will be less of a problem. So, what we ended up doing was having everyone switch to the smaller ogres when they spawned, because it made dealing with them so much easier and you will have fewer deaths. You probably don't even really need to assign anyone specifically to the eyes, because if you die, the buff goes away, and at low light, dying is pretty easy to do. If one of your main damage dealers dies, you're set pretty far back on damage on the boss, but if your eyes are spread a little bit, you can still keep up damage pretty well. It's ultimately up to you and your team on how to decide to handle the Ogre's Fury buff. While we were low light levels, we hid behind the two main rocks to break line of sight, as basically any contact from the Ogre eye beam meant certain death. However, even at higher levels, this is probably not going to be a bad idea. Ogres were immediately focused fire down upon their spawn. Once the Servile Ogre is low, everyone should prepare to leap onto the platform because Kagor will be vulnerable. You should not bring down the Servile Ogre while there are other Ogres in the arena, just in case they kill you during the burn phase. Once the Servile Ogre dies, everyone should immediately get to the platform and use everything. Melting Point, Weapons of Light, all supers, all heavy, because you have a pretty small window of time to kill Kagor, otherwise the shield will come back and you'll need to kill another Servile Ogre, and at low light levels, that's not something you're going to want to do. With all that damage, you're also likely to knock the boss around quite a bit, and if the boss goes behind something, it's going to be harder to deal damage, so try to push the boss in a direction where you're not going to have line of sight issues. That, or have people attack from both sides to keep the boss pinned. If the boss does get the shield back, then you'll need to kill the next servile ogre, but the problem is that you likely won't have a lot of time remaining, and it'll end up being a wipe. Once again, at higher light levels, this becomes less of a problem. An important thing to note is that if you use an antiquated rune to activate the fight, which you need to do, that if you fail the event, your rune will not go away. Once the boss is dead, the person who used their rune will get loot, and everyone else has a small chance of loot. The main loot was either a legendary engram or a legendary artifact. We managed to see four different artifacts, there could be more, but the only item we ever saw were artifacts. That is your Kagor guide, I will show a full kill here so you can see what the fight looks like in action with no commentary. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Yeah, use yeah. Ogre's Fury on those little Ogre's, like, it, just yep. something, anything. Because it helps so much. Like, unbelievable amounts. It's insane.
I'll be honest, I've been trying to steal a buff here and there. <laughs> Dude, we are just, to, just to help. Center. Oh, there is. Yeah, good. like. Ogre's coming in. There is. Ogre. Ogre for. Oh, never mind. Ogre right. Ogre left. Ogre left. Ogre left. Ogre left. Ogre left. Wow, it's so much easier if we just. <laughs> yeah, if we just all oh switch God. off of it. Go, big boy. Uh, over coming in. Over, coming over, in. over. Both yeah, like, look at the damage. Look at the damage on our main target. Watch off a little over. I'm moving right. Over, right, over left, over left, over left, half health. Right's charging, right's charging. Over left, before charging. you get stompy. Alright. Left over, left over, guys. He's weak, he's weak. Is he nice. down? Yes. Has anybody died during this? Nope. Good, keep that up. Let's do this. No what? Tier 3. Oh, <laughs> jump right. Watch so right much for that. Watch right next to you. I got you. I know. I know. I got you. Just gotta make sure that. Come on, get, get him down. Get him down. Get him down. Right, everybody, everybody ready? Everybody yeah. ready? All right. Go. Oh no. We got ogres yeah. coming in. Get together. Yeah, get yeah, over yeah, over. Just focus them down. Oh my. Oh, finish, <laughs> finish that. Finish that. Finish that. Finish that. All right, take him down, take him down right now, right now, right now, no, 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 no. Now, come on. There we go. Get me up, get me up, get me up, get me up. Coming in. I need that melting point. It's on. Oh my. I'm trying to push her back towards you guys. That's working. Count it out. Go, go, just burn, burn. Yeah, there it is. Right nice. time.